One of the components that you can add inside of Google Sites is a collapsible group. So if you were to go to an insert section right here, here you can see collapsible group is an option. And if you were to click on this, then what you can do is you can add in a title right here and then you can type in regular stuff. So let me just go around and type in some stuffs right here. So this is a collapsible group, meaning if I were to click on it, it expands and click on it again and it collapses. So you can go around and bring in multiple things as you was once. So I'm just going to go around and say test two for this one. And over here, you can go around and add in different, uh, let's say, for example, text right here. Let me bold this out and so forth, italicize it. You can format it according to how you like. So if I were to go around onto preview, then you'll be able to see that this is a dynamic content. And if you were to click, it expands, click on it again, and it collapses. And you can see that this is what you have. If I were to have any other content right here, let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and add in uh, content uh, besides this. So let me just go around right here. There's some contents as you can see right here. If I were to go around over here, uh, let me just add in another uh, thing over here as well, uh, uh, like a divider right here so that it is much more clearer. So you can see that there's a divider right there. If I were to go around onto the preview now, you'll be able to see that there's content below. But if I were to click on this is it pushes out the content below it right here. So it pushes it down as you can see just like that. And that is how you can add in collapsible groups inside of Google Sites. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.